Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to my redstone tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple combination lock for Minecraft 1.3. Um, I came up with this design in about 5 minutes um, because it was that simple. It didn't take that much planning. So at the moment my code is entered. Um, I'll just put it back to normal. So um, say just a random player came along, he's like, hmm, how do I unlock this? Oh, I don't know. Um, it's because there's a, a, a kind of encoder on the back here, a really small one. So I'll enter the combination right now. So this one has to be up, the next one has to be down, next one has to be down, that one has to be up, and oops, that last one has to be down. And the door will open. So now I'm going to teach you how to build it. So what you're going to need is 11 redstone torches. This may vary on your design depending on how many levers that you have up because the up levers use more torches. You're going to need 25 pieces of redstone. Again, this may vary on your design. You're going to need 5 levers, 1 iron door or a wooden door. depends how cheap you are. And you're going to need 64 block of your choice. Um, I've just got 2 stacks here because I'm going to be decorating. But if you are doing this normally, just have... Just have an extra thing just in case you need to patch up any blocks and that stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to do is mark out the area of where the levers are going to go. I'm just going to put a pillar here. So the wall of levers has to be 9 by 2 high. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we're going to make it 2 higher. So we're going to go back right to the start there on the second level. Now we're going to place red... I mean not redstone torches. We're going to place levers... Um, every second block, so I'm going to place one there, then leave a space, and then place it again, leave a space, place it again, and do that to the end. Now I'm just going to finish off the decorating right here. Oop. Now what we're going to do is decide on whether the levers have to be up or down for the door to unlock. So if we go to the back here, the lever is right um, in front of me behind that block there, so we're going to place, for the lever to be up for the door to unlock, we're going to place a redstone torch there, and then place a block under it. Now we're going to leave a space here, because they're one block apart, and I want this lever here to be down for the door to unlock, so the lever is here, so we place a block one down from there, and place a redstone dust behind it. So now that you know where the that's an up lever and that's a down lever. I'm just going to quickly go to the. I'm going to quickly do the rest of this. So I want that one to be down. I want this one to be up, and then I want that one to be down. Remembering that you have to leave a space in between all of them. Now, the next thing that we have to do is place a block in front of the redstone and the redstone torches. So just hit the um, right bit of the hitbox there, and it should place right behind it, but if you can't, just place a block on the ground, then place a block on top of it, then destroy it. Pretty simple. Now we're going to place redstone torches facing in the direction of the enchantment table there, on this side, so we're going to place one there, 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 and last one there. Now we need to go to this end one here, and place redstone coming below from this torch here to the end, and stop right there. Now we need to go on top of these and place redstone where those torches are on the block there. So you want to put it on top of there, like that. Now we go to the end here and place a block at the end. And this block should be powered by the redstone. And then we're going to place a redstone torch facing the lever wall here. Um, again, this may vary on your design. so. If your door was like over in more of that direction there, I would put like a lever here, then the start the redstone coming out. But make sure it's always powered, don't invert it after that. So we're just going to dig a hole here, so the redstone wire is hidden from the door. I'm going to put that there. And now this redstone here is powering that block, so I'm going to be putting my door right there. And let's just decorate this right now. Now that should be that should be it for this tutorial. Um, so now if I enter my code, um, you can tell by the back, this one has to be up, this has to be down, down, up, down. 
So let's go to the front. So that's up. This has to be down, down, up, down, and the door is open. So if you guys like this design, please remember to leave a like and if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and I'll have a look at them and see if I can do a tutorial for them. So I hope you've learned something today and I'll see you guys next time for another redstone tutorial. And yeah, bye guys.